गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अनादर क्लास ऑफ आई पी सो लेट स्टार्ट न्यू यूनिट दैट इज यूनिट नंबर फोर एज यू कैन सी हेयर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ट्वेंटी मार्क्स सो यू कैन से दैट दिस यूनिट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम थियोरिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एज वेल एज प्रैक्टिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू हेयर यू कैन सी दैट इट कंटेन्स equal amount of theory periods and equally you have to do the practical so from both the points theoretical as well as practical this unit is very important okay and uh, this uh, the database concept and the structure query languages is the name of the unit and this uh, same unit you will study in class 12th also so here this is part 1 and uh, of this database management and you will study the same unit in 12th also with the new features or modifications or you can say in in more details okay so let's start this unit here you can see the contents of this unit number 4 name of the unit is database concept and the structured query language and this structured query language in short we call it sql so uh, first we will see the introduction of database concept and its need and then we will see the definition of database management system then we will study a model that is relational data model and the terms related with this relational data models like domain tuple relation candidate key primary key and so on and after that we will do the queries structured query language and we will perform the we will see the classification of queries and then we will perform the practicals related to that okay so uh, let's start this unit so uh, here you can see that the basic uh, term in database is data so we have already seen in unit number 1 what is difference between data versus information so we are just revising that thing because data is the major part in ip okay so data is just raw material used as input or fa raw facts and figures that are available to us and this data it is derived from a latin word datum and uh, uh, in processed form of data is known as information so here you can see the example of data and information data is digits numbers alphabets ram age 32 is etc so these are the data and when we process it it is known as uh, information ram age is 32 years so it is telling about the particular thing about ram okay so this is processed form of data and it is known as information here you can see in the diagram also we are providing bits and when we process those bits then it becomes an information so see this diagram in this diagram data is provided as an input and after processing we will get the information okay so data versus information is clear to you next is uh database management system so this database management system it comprises of three terms first is database second is management and third is system so let's talk about the database okay so database means it is a collection of or you can say database is an organized collection of data now collection of data is referred as database and database contains information relevant to an particular organization or enterprise okay and management system means management means uh, uh, handling something in a proper way so the way to store and receive database information that is both convenient and efficient is called database management system or to access and manage database it we, we need a management system so database management system deal with the management of large information and it also check the safety of information and it also ensures the correctness of information so what we can say about db database management system as it is a software used to manage database is called database management system database means organized collection of data and dbms is a software that is used to manage this database okay now let's move towards relational database so relational database uh, is a database in which the data is stored in the form of relations or relations we called it as a in the form of tables so you can consider as database as a container and in that container if we are having lots of tables so we can say that uh, uh, that database is known as relational database a relational database is a collection of one or more tables okay 
and uh, this relational database management system we called it in short as rdbms so our database used to manage relational database is called relational database management system or uh, some popular examples of relational database management softwares are you can see here the names oracle mysql sybase ingress postgres sql microsoft sql server ibm informix sql lite etc so here in the diagram you can see the names of rdbms just remember this thing uh, this uh, 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 try to understand with an example that uh, suppose an empty cartoon or a box is called a database and if in that box we are having multi different types of items as table then it is known as relational database management system so you can think like this a relational database management system contains tables okay so see in this diagram uh, sql server oracle mysql postgres these are the examples of relational database management system in which data is stored in the form of tables okay so here more examples are given you can see uh, in this particular page that mysql and sql server sqlite oracle hadoop these are different types of examples of relational databases okay let's talk about the benefits of using a database or you can say advantages of dbms why we use this database management system it reduces uh, it, it uh, by using dbms we can reduce the redundancy or we can say redundancy can be controlled redundancy means duplicacy of data can be controlled okay so next point is inconsistency can be avoided inconsistency means uh, if you are having a uh, same record at two places so we don't tell that we can't tell that which record is proper or which is not so such situation is known as inconsistency so that type of situations can be avoided by using database management system and uh, with the help of dbms data can be shared and the security restrictions can be applied on data so we will talk about these advantages later on when we will deal with the tables okay just uh, remember these things that redundancy can be controlled redundancy means duplication duplicacy can be controlled with the help of database management system second point inconsistency can be avoided that means uh, uh, when we are using dbms then uh, no cases are arise that contains inconsistency and we can share the data with dbms and security also it provides security restrictions for example in age like we are having a form so in age column we can't put zero as an age so it should start with a number that is one okay so the such types of restrictions we can impose on data for data security okay so this comes under the benefits of using a dbms okay let's talk about the different data models a data models refers to a set of concept to describe the structure of a database or uh, uh, as i have already told you that uh, relational database management is a, a system that consists of tables okay so here data models means there are different types of data models given so in uh, we are uh, in this class we in 11th class we will deal about the relational data models and apart from that many other types of data models also exist so four data models that are used for database managements are relational database model in this model the data is organized into tables that is in the form of rows and columns and table are also called as relation second type of model is hierarchical data models that is out of your syllabus network data model just remember these names these are different types of models that are available for database management but what we are going to study is relational data model so we have to know about this much more okay so these are the names of data models relational data model hierarchical data model network data model and object oriented data models okay so let's see the basic concept of mysql and about relations okay so mysql it is a uh, did michael wedness allen larson david x marks given this concept of mysql and the logo of mysql is a dolphin and a uh, uh, name of that dolf dolphin is shakila so here in the diagram you can see above mysql you will find a symbol of dolphin and the name of that particular dolphin given by the uh, mysql team was shakila okay so this mysql it is an op freely available open source relational database management system and that uses an 
language that is known as structured query language to access this type of database we need a language so that language is known as structured query language in mysql database information is stored in the form of tables a single mysql database can contain many tables at once and store thousands of individual records in a table okay sql stands for structured query language it is a language that enables us to create and operate on relational database which are set of related information stored in the tables so this as i have told you that mysql is a database management system and for uh, using that particular database management system we need a language so that language is sql structured query language okay now learn about we let let's see the some te terms that are used in relational database management so first is relation okay relation means you can say a table name is known as relation a table refer to a dimen two dimensional representation of data uh, what we can seen table the table consists of columns and rows okay so uh, row table columns are also known as fields or attributes and rows are also known as records or tuple so in our, uh, for the full name of table is relation and the, the attributes and fields we call them columns and rows all, also known as tuples or records okay the table in a database are generally related to each other whatever tables we are storing in database they are uh, related with each other and uh, to to facilitate efficient management of the data we use this table and interrelated tables also reduce the chances of error in the database all the tables are re somewhere related with each other okay next is degree degree means the number of columns that or attributes that are present in a table is known is called degree of that particular table cardinality means the number of rows present in a table is called cardinality of a table so for remembering the degree and cardinality what uh, we can use a term that is dark d a r c dars okay so d stands for degree so degree related with attributes and r stands for row row rows uh, related with the cardinality in this way you can learn this dark okay next is uh, here you can see the example of relation tuple attribute degree and cardinality i have uh, shown here a table with the name student so a student is the relation or name of the table tuple means how many tuples are here three rows so we can say tuples are three tuples are here okay attributes means name of the columns or field names or you can say the number of columns so here how many number of columns are present four so deg uh, degree of this table is four okay so we have seen all these attributes in this table students okay so that's all about this class thank you so much we will continue this unit in the part 2